in some ways, this comes back to what I was saying before around this balance between safe learning environments and exciting learning environments. We've got to give young people exposure to the real world, but equally we want them to do that in a way where they can learn from making mistakes. They've got to feel that they can make mistakes without it uh, being some kind of disaster or end point, and actually they can, they can build on that. So by exposing them to the real world, but doing it in a way that they can develop their resilience uh, and that learning resilience over time, that's really important. So I think uh, in, in the future, probably the uh, these artificial structures that we call schools and so on, on, on now, I think we'll see less of that uh, and a lot more learning will happen out and about in the real world, in communities, uh, in, in the workplace, in homes and so on. Uh, and I think probably that's the right way to go. 